Let's go. This is the Rooted Podcast. Hey. How y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? We live on the record. Ready to remove? Ready to what? Move it. Move it on top of the thing. I like to move it. Move That's what I do. All right, man. Ready? Rooted! Yo! Welcome back to another episode of the Rooted Podcast. Today we got a few special guests in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and let him talk his shit. We got... Me. <laughs> <laughs> Representing me. From the United Group Podcast, better known as me. Go ahead, I'm selfish. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I like that shit, bro. Um, I'm going to introduce you to the cast. We got... Your boy T. Hills. Underscore T. Hills if you're nice. Your girl Olivia. Olivia Santiago. On Instagram. I ain't doing all that shit. I'm just doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, it's not the guy with the flea. And it's your girl, Push, with the scene out of cake. And together we make the Root Podcast. Let's go, yeah! Let's go, man. So, man, look. I, I know I'm the extra how y'all week been, but I'm going to go ahead and start, man. I had a whole episode, what that was, Saturday? Mm-hmm. Oh. No, yep, Saturday. What kind of episode? Man, I left, I left out to go to go to Lowe's to do some shit. I was doing a little project with this uh, projection. So I, I left out to go to Lowe's, and they had like a little fire. An like, accident over there by, uh, by Bottom Farm Road. Mm-hmm. So boom, I just popped on top of the levee. You know, I got the car, and boom. Yeah. Well, he stopped me, right? He stopped me. He was like, what you doing up there? Like, I'm authorized person now. He wrote me a ticket, right? Right. Uh, Pull me over in the grass. I turn my car off, he leave his on. Get out the car, take my pistol off, put it on the hood of his car. Why don't he leave his car caught on fire because he didn't turn it off? No! Nigga pulled off with my Hellcat on top of the hood. No! Vroom! Flew down the street. No. My gun came off the fucking hood. Tumbling, he come back, I'm, I'm, bitch! Oop, do that! Go get my motherfucking gun! No. You know what I'm saying? He, he went walk down there to go find it. Found it. It, it, it. It's a little fucked up a little bit. But uh, he still wrote me a ticket. I said, man, look, what you what you gonna do Don't about it? He said, damn, all it done, man. Like, right. You gotta do something about it. Yeah. He was like, oh, you gotta take it up with the state. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, he bullshit. He's right though. Fucking with me. It's all on camera. Yeah. So, right. So I'm, I'm, I gotta see about getting that situation. Man. You know what I mean? So I don't know. That's how my shit was. I don't know. Well, after, after everything settled and done, I think you should air this. Yeah, oh yeah, once I get it, once yeah, I get it, once get that bit pulled. This part of the record, they should be released to them. Mm, yeah, yeah. that'd be fine. That'd be fine. So, what about you? How y'all week was, man? Hot. Hot? I'm a delivery nigga. I don't know if y'all know what that means, but bitch, we ain't got no AC. Oh, and then Prime Week just, just passed you? I ain't got to worry about Prime Week. Oh, wow. It's always Prime Week at FedEx. We the hood. You remember me? But yeah, it's hot as a motherfucker. I mean, it's mid July. <laughs> hot as the fuck. I'll be worried. Well, when the old motherfuckers that was growing up be like, damn, it's hot all the time. <laughs> they got sleeves. Like, <laughs> background and shit. It's so hot outside, the devil passed my time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about you, Debbie? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Lev, Lev, Lev. Lev, Lev. I ain't thinking y'all know they, they postponed our graduation. Why? Because mm. cool. the, the sheriff went out of town. She was hot in the ass. And went out of town. Turn the AC on. Power time. Power time. Now, she's been out of town, so they had to postpone our ceremony, so we don't know when the fuck we're going to have our ceremony. But let me just say, y'all going to the jailhouse regardless? Ceremony or not, your ass going to do some work. Hold on, so you think you'll find your jail, uh, a prison bait? That's what I told you. You never know, boy. One of them big muscular ass niggas roll up on you. That's what you like? You like muscular ass niggas that roll up on you? I like muscular ass nigga women. (laughs) <laughs> I'm just playing. So like I, I got say, one that for you. I got one for you. No, no, that nigga got shit on point. Man, she I'm telling you, I'm telling you, why hey, the nigga DJ? See the thing is though, <laughs> and, and the thing is, is she fine? I'm like, I, uh, 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 you know, she pull out a dick, huh? Ooh. Oh no, turn the AC on. DJ, how your week was, my man? You know me, though, fantastic. It's all week. Always good. Yeah, I just had some racism just happen. That's it. Yeah, that's it. At uh, Copeland's just now. No, Yo, sir. y'all ever been a waiter at anything? Uh, cook. At Waffle House. What would you do oh, if uh, at Waffle House? Yeah. I thought the white person asked you to move them away and take them for the black people next time. Wait, oh, what? Move them away? 
Bye. You were moving away. Bye. You moved away to the yeah. other Bye. side. That's where you want to be. Bye. No, wait. No, no, you're supposed to, you're supposed, if they want to be moved, you're supposed yeah. to move. Bye. Right. Mm-hmm. Look at me when I'm shit. Damn, yeah, man, that was very peaceful. I'm thinking. Like, I don't care. That means I'm going to make more noise. Like oh. I, don't, I don't care. What? No, I'll leave them right up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What you think? What you, you think? think? You're supposed to move. In Waffle House, you choose where the fuck you sit. So if you chose to sit right there, you're going to stay your stupid ass right there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to fucking move and you'll bring my plate to me. How your week was? My week? Uh, shit. Uh, it was a good week. Fuck. I can't even stun on you, bro. A lot of progression. 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 How about five Progression. I've been high and high, high and reach new heights. You know what I'm saying? So now I, that's a blessing from God, man. That's all I can say, man. But let's go and hop into it, man. We got some good things to talk about. Let's get back to our host, man. What you gotta do? Oh, What's the iceberg trick? What's that hand? Listen, my, oh, my bad. Be even solid, cause that's how I was. I didn't go to work. I laid down. I went to the hospital with myself. Wasn't much to do, so it was solid. It was solid. It was solid. Okay. I saw you at the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did ice breaker, man. Damn, you know what's crazy? What? I forgot that. Was that you? Uh, man, you yeah, well, I bet you that. put that meat up, you gonna remember it. Ooh. 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 Chuck beef. Yeah. Yeah. Big meat. <laughs> Brown beef. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, man. All right, now. Nah. Well, well, look, well, look, well, look. Nah, on some real shit. On some real shit. Cause I knew y'all was a thing, nigga, really forgot. Nigga ain't forget. Nigga just had to get I time to think about it. I told y'all something about me, you gotta remember. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, Look at this, man. This is my question. This is my icebreaker for the audience, for everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? It's not for you. Is it true, right? You make time for what you really want? Or that's just a bullshit statement you tell people in order to, you know what I'm saying, either avoid or get more time with them. Give me your thoughts and opinions on it. And that's how we're going to break the ice on this one. It's bullshit. Cause I'm not, I'm not about to lie. Like I'm not gonna be lying about it. Like if I ain't got time, I ain't got time. No, not doing it. I can't do it. I, I'm not coming for uh, whatever situation. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm sick, and then you see me post it up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I ain't doing it. Two things could be true. I could be sick and yeah, still be doing that shit. Nah, when I'm sick, I'm sick. You know what I'm saying? Well, for me, um, it's a little bit of both. I mean, don't be weaponize everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, 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 you got time to do this, this, and this, right. but you ain't fucking with me. Mm-hmm. You know what? <sighs> but then at the same time, I might dip on you and go fishing with my people. Yeah. So I think people use it interchangeably. Interchange. This that, my time, bitch. But so that ain't you being busy. That's you choosing to do something else with the time. Well, you see, I can be busy fishing. Right. Yeah. That right. can be busy. Right, but you had the choice to either go fishing or that you just made the choice. That ain't you just being too busy. I feel like when you talk about being too busy, like you too busy caught up in your work, you too busy caught up in like doing other What's other? Right, because I'm about to say. That's true. No, she she's right. right. She has a good point. She has a great point. Is it self care a part of being busy? Fishing the hill might be your self care. Yeah, that is. But it's like, okay, so what you say. Listen, you had the option to either go do this with this person or go fishing. You just chose that over them. That don't mean you was too they, busy. They don't I feel like, like being that, right? too busy is something you was already like... Business, you're making money. Priorities. Not even just business. Something that you was already in the oh, midst of doing. Kenny Lattimore said, right. I'm not too busy. For right. too busy. I, yeah, I don't, feel like, <laughs> I don't feel like nobody's ever too busy because you might not, you might not want to go hang with this person to spend time with this person choose to spend that time with this person but you say you're too busy but that person say come on i'm gonna pop this pussy open for you you gonna make time i'm too busy i didn't say too busy i told you i'm too busy i'm still busy oh you was gonna pop it up pop for the later because bitch i'm busy right now i'm fishing right now i'm busy fishing i'm gonna go 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 fishing i'm but you still made that now, time, so you wasn't too busy to go over there. Now, why are you popping that pussy? We busy. You got a point. I'm preoccupied. I'm preoccupied. Yeah. Point, but what about uh, you, DJ? How you feel about it? She right as hell. Thank you. I agree. She right as hell. And you know I 
Yeah. Would have loved to side with y'all. I feel you. You showing me where your priorities at. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, so, so like you I said, you do make time for what you want. It's, nah, not really, because like if you ask me to do something in the middle of what I'm doing, See, I'm know. already busy. Yeah. Right. You might separate the difference. You could but be if, like, I'm busy choose... right now, but I'm gonna make the time to try to get to it later. Yeah. But yeah. that wasn't the question. That wasn't what the question was. Anyway, so I'm about to say this. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> Something wrong with the Bitch, I'm busy. Alright? If I'm busy, I'm busy. I might be busy doing nothing. But I'm busy. You're not busy. No, you busy doing. Don't that is me being busy. 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 You just don't want to spend that time with that person. You might want that time. You might want that time to yourself. Right, but see, that's the thing. That ain't busy to me. Me? See, you heard what you said? To you. Right. So, I could want to spend time with you. But I might need this time for me. So now I'm busy. I'm busy with me. Right. Busy I still got some time for you. Just not right she now. Got, right she now. got to the busy. busy. You're busy, busy, but the busy is that you're in your free time. You're choosing to choose you in your free time. No, and, no, no. no. He, I can that. find him in his free time. Right. Yeah, but it's still within your free time. It's, it's, not within, time. it's not within priority time. Priority time meaning I, mean, I have to go make money. I have to be but here. I have to be there because it, it, I'm accounted for here. I'm no, responsible for something. But that's here. different. You'll still be at work and doing all of that shit and still have time to entertain someone else. Right. And I just ain't priorities vary person to person. And you're not that's too busy because you sent that text thing saying, oh, I'm busy right now. You wasn't too busy sending that fucking text. That audible. That audible. That audible. They don't talk about that. 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 When you could have the headphone in your cover. So for me, I'll be in meetings, right? So in a meeting, I can check out the meeting and text right quick, but I can't answer the phone. Yeah, that's cool. You're in a meeting. You're busy in that yeah, meeting. Yeah, but I wasn't busy. I can still text you in a meeting because everything in the meeting doesn't require my full attention. Mm. Like they might, they may be talking about what they talking about, right? As far as like they might maybe talking about operations. Oh. I'm in tech. <laughs> 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 My bad. They yeah. might be talking about operations. It's not my big It's not my vibe. It's, it's not. Oh, she been jumping all day. She got definitely on my knees and she and I still jumped out of my chest. But, yeah. but, but like I might be, I might be in an environment that's too busy for me to answer. But I still may be free enough to converse with you, mm-hmm. right? But not like physically. Talk to you. Yeah, but you still made time for what you wanted. You wanted to have that conversation. Yeah, but I was busy. Huh? We, it was in, it wasn't about priorities. Bro. You still made it, that time. It wasn't yeah, about yeah. Like, That's like, the fucking point. You good. made time for but, what but that's, you want. But that's not what you said. You said busy. You didn't right. say nothing about prioritizing. Okay. I'm saying it's what you consider busy. Bu- busy, like, all right, you know what? So we're going to agree that busy is subject. It's going to be a subjective thing. Yeah, right? Right. It is. It's, busy. it's not. Okay, so that's what we're going to agree. Because everybody's busy. busy. It's different. Your mom's call right busy. now. You busy? Huh? Yes, I'm busy. All right, but you can text it back, though, right? I'm not going to text. No, I can't text it back. You, you, My phone is being used. You can't. Would you choose it now? You can choose the one. Nah, it's only not disturbed. So nah, back, nah. Right? Technically, nah. This is the one time you're probably wrong. Yeah. This is the one time. Yeah. <laughs> you should ask somebody else. <laughs> Can't it's the one to, time you will be yeah, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Some people don't know the difference, though. The difference between what? Making time and having yeah. time. Like, so I could prioritize something else before you. That don't mean overall I prioritize my friends before. Some people feel like you some people are all together. Is, yeah, like the one time I might choose my friends with you. You'll say, like, you always choose your friends when it's just the last mm-hmm. choice I made. Not every choice I make every time. Right. I know it's that. Why you want anyone a bunch of niggas yeah. instead well, of your woman? I'm I'm like that too, though. So, I'm, always so like, I'm like, like, all right. I look at it as I'm not prioritizing my friends with you. I look at it as me prioritizing something that I want to do. Like, all right, we going fishing. Like, I really want to go fishing. Really right? She'll say, <clears throat> you love fishing more than well, come on, I'm gonna yeah. go with you. Oh, oh, nah, you just going with the niggas again. Like, it ain't even that. It's just that, like, this is something I do. This is something I enjoy doing. Mm. And I think that shouldn't even come. Well, that's just how I feel. I feel like that shouldn't even come up like your relationship versus your friends. 
every time I call you, Five, three to five, five, within that that's five minutes. That's why I said, that's bullshit. That, yeah, that's, yeah, bullshit. that's bullshit. That's right? the only people that be lying about being in a relationship. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You gotta move away from that person to return his phone. Yeah, if you're my significant other, I need you to answer. Right. I need, like, you I, I understand it's gonna happen, time. but I need you to ask. You should they call you? You know what I mean? I just need you to say my bad if you call back. Yeah, my bad. I was on the excuse of why you didn't answer. To me, that says you're proper time. Right. In a small way, I don't think they be understanding that shit when the fight happens. They're too busy trying to be conniving. I don't think they be conniving. I just be thinking you not understanding you need to put me more as a priority. And men can't bitch about that on slick because that seems gay as fuck. The fuck we can't. Right. No, no. <laughs> right. like, okay. we, had, we had a conversation about emotions with men. You know what, fuck like, me. y'all supposed to speak up for yourself, say how the fuck you feel. Why? So because you if up. not. Oh, hold up, tell me. So before you dive deeper into that, it's right? To. Right? So <laughs> right? As as a man, right? Excellent. Talking to you as a woman, I'm <laughs> supposed to I'm supposed to be intelligent enough to know when something's going on with you. I'm supposed to be able to read your mind, right? Oh yeah, this is You good. should be able to know my if if I'm your girl and we've been dating for a minute, you should be able to see my mood and be like, oh something not right. Alright, so, so you can say so my so yeah, now, now let's, 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 let's reverse it, right? You should be able to do the same, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So if you see that it's been irritating me that you, that he ain't been answering his fucking phone, right? Why you ain't pick up on it? Why I gotta speak on it? You got a point. Cause you're not her man. Talk oh, that talk, George. But I'm right. You're, but you're not, not her man. man. Not man. Not We're on the same page. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're on the same page. You just graduated. Bro. It's not it's right. It's a, no, you know, if you like that, bro. Now look, really like y'all want y'all want to know what I noticed? Ain't nobody got fucking socks on but me and Doom. We both got jailhouse socks. First of all, goose socks look thin as a motherfucker. If I'm a stereotype. It's One. fucking hot. Why am I wearing thick socks on his hat? Why do you wear thick socks on his hat? Nigga shouldn't wear socks on Sundays because uh, that's wash day. So fuck y'all. <laughs> and two. First of all, I wash. You only got seven pairs of socks? Mm-hmm. I think well, I'm I'm socks. Socks. I'm going to wash socks. I'm going to wash socks. I'm going to wash socks. Yes, he blew the bag off the top. <laughs> he feel like, oh, what? That's the day that I ain't washing socks. No more elastic some in that Some of them are fighting for their life right now, but they still that nigga, that nigga blew all the stitch out of the socks. Right? Huh? So the the front stitch, you heard? The slippers fighting for their life. Who was running from? No, who he was running Who he was running to? No, what it was running from, baby. Dick? I was touching the bag of that motherfucking heel, you heard? With lotion. Why you fucking socks? Yeah, bitch, you mean? Nigga, you're strange, dog. You fucking socks? No, when you beat the hand, you beat the Yeah. 
You oh. take something, all right, boom. Yeah. These two yeah. nasty ass niggas nah. like, to, like, to, like, like, to, like to stand up and go and walk and go get towels. Nah, that's nasty, bro. That's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. Yeah. And, go and then we we'll wash the sheets work. every week. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's not what he said. That's not what he said. I said, I'm in the bathroom. You're in the bathroom. She doesn't need a What? That don't even sound comfortable. You wipe off the towel. You wipe off with the towel. What you do, bitch? Since you wipe off with the towel. Who said towel? You wipe off. I don't like these people. I don't like these people. I don't like these people. Hold on, what you say? You're in the bathroom. Huh? You're in the bathroom. Beating your meat? You're in the bathroom. Hold on, what you say it again? You're in the bathroom standing up beating your meat? Yeah. In the house by yourself? How? That's uncomfortable. I don't let you out of your meat. Let me see. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Slide most to the, most slide position, to the most position for niggas is standing up. Wait, so what? Most positions for niggas is standing up. Not on the bed. How you do missionary? Huh? I'm going to hold my tools and missionary. You trying to get yeah, like, I'm I'm to the edge of the bed. Yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. to the edge of the bed. Oh, you do got to kind of get it. Yeah, but yeah. I know that's that's like another move to me. I'm thinking missionary. We on the bed like. No, I like a donut. I like a donut. I like to put my shoes on instead of the bed. Yeah, grip. Yeah, yeah, stomach, stomach, stomach between each other. That's not a position. That's not missionary, bro. Time out. In the middle of sex, you it's standing up and putting your shoes on? My shoes are already in the bed. I'm starting off with missionary. Put your socks on? Socks and shoes on. Yeah, I can't fuck with my socks. First of all, fuh- you that shit sound hot as the motherfucker. I like when my slipper go like this. I don't like that. That bitch no grip. I feel like bitch trying to take the sock off. That dick don't come on everything. Bitch trying to leave that bitch off and shit. All the way over. They can slip a little bit down. Can't get it, hold on. Fall and make a mistake, put some more Yeah, right. Fall. You're slipping fall. I ain't trying to put that much into it. Yeah, fell all over there, motherfucker. That was your problem. You see why I tried to take this ass off before? Yeah, yeah, I like that. 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 Yeah, I so you stand up at a motherfucking toilet and shoot your shit in a toilet. Nigga, your knees don't get weak. I'm about to tell you, you ain't got to lean up against the wall the whole time. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I might put my hand on the wall a little bit. Bro, I remember beating a bitch from the back one time, standing up, she got her toe, her thing on her toe, she, you know what I'm saying, ass in the air. I was beating a bitch. I remember one time, nigga, I skied and nigga, I fell. So that's different. So that's different, right? So you got four fall back. You fall every time you throw my knee. You fall every time Hold up, you fall, you do the same thing every time you Nigga, what, nigga if I'm laying down with the sock and I'm beating my sh- and I'm beating my shit, right? <laughs> nigga, I'm nine times out of ten, I'm gonna wake up with that bitch in my head. Either one or worse. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so when you done, you wash your hands? Huh? You wash no. Your hands? No. 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 I'm waking up with my leg in my hand for the first time. you wake up. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to wake up with my dick in my hand. And we're in the side. Now, who more nasty now? Nah. Nah. No. 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 The dick, the dick has went down to the it's normal state. Now, you got to wipe it off. You got to wipe it off. The nut way up here. And the nut, my dick is crusty. So, you know, I'm going to put it in the side. 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 I'm going to you a nasty I'm going to sleep. That's how I know you niggas wild. You niggas wild. Sir, what about the drippage? You, 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 you look like walkers when you get older. I guarantee you. What about the drippage after? When he woke up, he touched his lips and got a bump up. You don't have no sperm slide now after you push? What? Nigga. I'm nigga. It's a tool sock. I'm nothing to the back of this bitch. I'm like, what you mean? Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, you gon' feel, I ain't feeling a motherfucking thing. So you gotta uh, peel that bitch off in the morning, basically. Ain't no, like, like I said, like when, I'm feel, when I'm feeling good, see, the thing is, you gotta catch yourself. Let me, let, all right, let me talk to so all the young guys out there. All on. right, this is all my young guys out there. When you go to beat, let me show you how to beat your meat with a sock on. This beat is, meat this is another time, baby. Right, hey, this is underscore T-Hills. No, this is underscore T-Hills. You know what I'm saying? On Instagram, oh, follow me for more life advice, right? So you get your meat, you can say you get your Tool shot. For I'm saying, all my little bitty brothers, don't shame yourself and put it in the tool shot. It's gonna slip off like real pussy. I promise you. So look, just get in this bitch, get your ready. To get your footy, if you that's what you at. Get all my real niggas, get your tool shot. 
You know what I'm saying? Pre pre it don't matter white and black, preferably one coat. Don't make them do. Don't want you don't want them too thick. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to, you know, you want to feel the grip. The ones I do got on. The thin ones. Nah, nah, nah. Flavor like flavor shit. The do shit ain't long enough. Yeah. But I'm about just to talk about niggas. Just go all the way up, boy. It's, it's too long. Oh, yeah. there, there, there you go. It's there you go. Long. But there you go. I, I ain't see it. I ain't seen it at first. But at the same time, like you know what I'm saying? At the same time, boom. Now you go roll over to your side and you go put your flick on, right? You go have a sock here yeah, because you want this motherfucker to, you to, to to fall into the sock. So when you fall asleep, you so you be dry shaving. What you mean dry shaving? No, I don't use no lotions. You don't need no lotions, no oils, no nothing. No, no, none of that. Who nasty? No, how you say you put lotion in the sock and fuck it? Sock burn. Not burn. Sock burn. Sock burn. Ain't no sock burn. Ain't no sock burn. Ain't none of that. That's it. DJ, you still with that sock? I am baffled by this whole conversation. I'm just then I, I, I was with you until the strategy you implied. Yeah, you got lay on the side and kind of and kind of like make you know what I'm saying. Whatever side you see, some people feel like that. I go with my left hand. I go with my left hand because it feel like you know me. I'm left handed. I tried my right hand last night for the first. Don't like it. Yeah, y'all niggas both got That's why them niggas like that. If you if you beat your with your right hand, it's going I think I'm gonna get none of them. If I do it with my right hand, I just don't feel comfortable. It gotta be a left. The, the, this here gotta be out the way. If you use my right arm, it's gonna be in the way. My left hand is always in my pussy hand. The dead of the muscle hand. Yeah. The muscle is this. Wait, man. I had a question. Push your pussy hand. Wrap this one up. I had a question. Give a sock. You're on your side, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have the fan on? Or you would like to. If it's too hot, you want the fan on. If not, if not, you like it to be hot because you want to sweat. Thank you. No, you don't. I want I want to sweat during sex, I want, yep. and I want to sweat when I'm beating my feet. Yeah. I mean, I'm not turning the AC off. I say during sex, yeah. I'm turning the AC off. I'm not sweating. You know what? I'm not so fast. Next time. <laughs> right? 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 I'm going to do all that when I'm going to sweat. 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 I'm going to Nigga not trying to just do this for a job, but nigga trying to get that bitch out of the way because I need to go to sleep. Yeah, don't, be like, don't be like these niggas, boy. If you like these niggas, you're going to end up let's, with a wall. Let's go ahead. Please lay down the Let's go ahead and jump into our next topic. Trees, what we got, baby? We're going to do the domestic violence. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. What you got on domestic violence? Speak on it. I was in a little toxic situation with my first kid's daddy. We was together like 15 years. And I'm going to say the last. I was like Mike Tyson, Joe Frazier type shit. And it was because he wanted to control me and like he seemed like the older I got, the more I wasn't putting up with the bullshit pretty much. Because in the beginning I was accepting the outside kids, the different females, the just all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So the older I got, I got one baby, okay, now I got a little bit older, I got two babies, yeah, I, I can't let my kids see me, you know, dealing with this shit, now I got a daughter, I'm definitely not about to let her see me go through this shit, because I don't want her to go through it, so it became a toxic situation, he became abusive, oh, bitch, you can't do this, you can't do that, bitch, I'm gonna beat the fuck out, you're not going nowhere, bitch, I'll kill you, and take the kids, like, it just was a lot. It had it got so bad till the last, I'm gonna say the last six months, this nigga got mad. Quick story. He got mad because I didn't want to let him take my car to go out. I'm like, no, nigga, I let you take my car to go out every weekend to, to go fuck with these females. Like, no, I'm not doing it. So the nigga got mad. Long story short, I jumped off the, we had a fight outside. So he drove me upstairs by my flexi ride. And we stood on the second floor. So he drove me up the, the concrete stairs. And we inside, we fighting again. He goes take a shower. I'm like, fuck that. I'm not about to stay in here. Like, I'm about to get the fuck out of here. Like, I know this nigga gonna kill me if I don't get the fuck out of here. Because he had a two arms sitting on the bar. I jump off the fucking balcony, fractured my ankle, fucked myself up. And he had then beat me so bad, I had six fractured ribs, mm. three bruised ribs, all the muscles in my back was bruised. I had 32 staples in my fucking head. I had a big ass black eye. My lips looked like somebody pumped them bitches up with air. And I had to run with one fucking, one day to my son's godmother house who stayed like maybe four buildings over. Mm -hmm. And it was taking her so long to come to the door. So I had to lay down on her balcony because I, he knew where she stayed at, but he didn't know exactly which door it was. 
So I see this, I can see him and not him in my fucking heart like this. I'm like, Lord, this nigga about to kill me. And I just remember that bitch saying, bitch, when I find you, I'm going to kill you. And as he said that, I I love you, Mr. Byron, to this day. That man opened the door and saved my fucking life. This nigga was going to kill me. I have two questions. This nigga was going to kill me. I ain't trying to be funny. First question. You did all that and have a fucking car? Yeah. Because he was, he was, he was a, a, a narcissistic ass man. So, how he was, he would, okay, all his baby mamas had cars. So, all us had cars and he had all the females thinking, oh, well, this is my car, this is my car. But, in reality, the car that she had was repossessed. So, he was a joke. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Now, my second question. If he was in the shop, why the fuck you ain't just locked the door? Because then he would have heard the door open. Oh, no. This is my question. You said the guns was on the phone? Yeah. And he was in the shop. Nah, I, I wasn't fucking with Fight or flight. Right. I'm saying, my first reaction was to run. Yeah. Right, right. Like, get the fuck. That's traumatic. Like that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that is traumatic. You know, you ain't thinking a certain way at the time. You just want to get out. You just trying to go. There's a lot of questions. Like, how does that <laughs> affect you to this day? Right. Right. I. You say I don't want to do grabbing. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, yeah. It, 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 like it, it, it really, it really traumatized me. And like, I don't like to be around certain certain people. Like, if you if you so aggressive, I don't want to be around you. And I'm young, I'm a fun person. Like I, I'm just all around open spirit. Like I, don't, I don't care about none of that. But like if I see you aggressive, I don't want to be around you. I don't like to listen to a certain music because when I was getting my ass with a certain song was playing. I don't like that song. It just breaks me the fuck down, and I will just fall out in the fucking tears. Like it's just a lot. Like it's a lot. But in order for me to get over that, I had to forgive him in order to move on. You see what I'm saying? So I had to forgive him. If not, then I'll still be living with it. That's that that power. Over it. How do you, but how do you get to that point is the question. Like, cause to think that someone has done you bad, done you bad, done you bad, and you just took it, took it because obviously you must have been a fool in love. Like I said, you have to forgive them in order to forgive yourself and get over it. If not, it's just gonna hold on you. And it hold on me, it fucked up like majority of like the relationships that I had because I don't know if he gonna beat my ass. I don't know if she gonna beat my ass. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's just a pray praying situation. And you gotta like I said, you gotta forgive them in order to heal yourself. And I don't think it's like being crazy in love at, a, at crazy in love. I think at a certain point you be scared mm. to leave because And that's that's so. exactly what it was. Because right. so that's what you get threatened. Happened. You get threatened every other day. How much uh how much not y'all got right? <laughs> y'all too. <laughs> because the underlying account, and I'm not putting this on you because I just got out of jail for that. And I get in touch and see, that, see what happens is, and I don't know what you and Duke went through, right? But I'm sure there's some things you did that was disrespectful that you don't do in disrespect. No. See, no. how you? Nah, because he, he's a narcissist. He, he's listen I'm, to the max. So, so they met. I'm, I'm always a chill type person. He wanna con- he he wanted to control everything. If I wasn't hanging with his mama or his sister, oh bitch, you not going there. Or to be extreme. That's okay. Right. If I'm hanging around my family, oh you got another nigga around. Oh, right. you drop me off that, don't, that don't sound like narcissism. No, like no, I'm just saying like that, no, that was person. one of his controlling. Yeah. That was something yeah. controlling. Yeah. But he, he very much issues. Issues. as man. So like he has some issues that he needs to figure out. But guess what? Karma, karma is a bitch. He did. He not dead. Oh, oh. But all the shit that he did me, it came back to bite him. So karma, was that karma getting you? No. I. Did so karma don't exist everywhere else but except your world. I didn't. I didn't. I feel like karma with me was a relationship I had with a female, not him. But it don't come back in the same person. Right. Yeah, I think karma comes back in a totally different mm-hmm. right, yeah, aspect. Yeah. But what I'm what I'm learning and studying and what I'm understanding is the spirit you struggle with mm-hmm. pops up with different people. Yeah, that's what it is. So you might be combat or you might struggle with people that don't come back. 
as a way that you got to learn how to deal with it. Because if, if I had Corona right now in this room, I'm pretty sure y'all make an adjustment, kicking me the fuck out of here. So I think you got to make that adjustment with that. Unfortunately, that's how most niggas do. So they don't, they don't know that my favorite version of Bobby already in Luke 17 one promises we will be offensive. You are promised offense in this world. The next verse saying you can't have a kick something. To me, that's how I do. Yeah. <laughs> it says tie a thing around your neck, jump in the middle of the seat. The thing they be on the pelvis. What that mean? Kick something. You can't live on this earth. You can't handle offense. And I think sometimes women responses to niggas, I not think for you. I think just the environment got to be understood that. Okay. I knew your case, I just got to deal with this shit. The aggression. Coming at a nigga a certain way, he forgets that. I'm trying to walk around his life, bro. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Like, okay. you got to call him. Why is it? I'm not, because I do. Because at the end of the day, I blame me. I blame me, right? But there is an aspect there that does lie responsibility of women to understand when they all kind of so let me ask you a question I'm sorry you blame men for the abuse that they yeah right yeah, yeah. okay I, so I, what if it's vice versa correct what you mean it's vice versa it's the female mean? that's abusing of each other why for one that this is, this is my example uh that shit can't be good enough and no matter what situation, if you're married, single, got buku kids, but I don't want to leave the kids, you got to fuck, you got to say fuck off on that. Because uh, the responsibility at the end of the day when he falls with falls on that man, he can't touch it. He can't grab because he always going to get exactly. He does this. I mean, homeboy just got his hands with that shit. I think. They found out that the girl. Oh, Travis, who though? No, John Smith. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I, I didn't know what happened. I think they oh, found yeah, out that he's defending himself. Yeah, he's defending, defending himself. Look, all, it's like one now because I feel like men don't know the difference between responding and reacting. You got to know how to respond. The reaction is all emotion based. So you're not even thinking this shit before the situation happens. I know it's a possibility every day that I'm going to be offended from that for those words I just told you about. So in my mind now, Anytime I feel offended by something, that's a strategy I think. That's why I wasn't using that. I left. Right. I saw <laughs> niggas don't be peeping patterns either. Mm. Why is that? I, yeah, I don't know if I fight with any significant other around my girl. Like to the max. And this was the first time I kinda said, you know what? I'm gonna just cut the phone off and just go. Let that song pass, then come back. And I noticed that that responsibility at the end of the day is on me. That's why I blame them. Niggas gotta discern that. They can't, they gotta know that uh, you're not gonna get the results, you know. Sometimes taking the L of them. That's what yeah. You don't have to be so prideful for the fight to even get to that. And if she hits you, nigga be mad enough to, to just fucking go. Niggas don't even wanna leave because sound like homeboy on the left because he needed a call. So he would have stayed, if she was hitting him, he would have stayed. To drive. That's your fault. You ain't got a fucking cup. But at the end of the day, that should be 100% men's fault. Men, uh, men fault to me. Niggas might fight me on that, but and I'm a fresh order just like women. Because right. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I'm a lead with me. Yeah. I lead. Yeah, I used to move ass with it. I, I just, but I, but shit, I got beat up by the police from helping a girl. Get, she was getting her ass with I got his way. Got my ass beat by four. So even the helping part now, I'm, if I'd have been that nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was an alcohol. I ain't coming to Because that couple I helped, they was fucking that night. Like, mm. that. <laughs> That, that, it be, uh, nah, like, that, 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 that's it's, really. Just, it's just crazy that people people believe that that right, that's acceptable and that's a part like toxic relationships. Right. Right? It's, it's toxic being toxic in a relationship is acceptable. It's cool. It's right. It's okay. You know what I mean? People go through the shit, right? A lot. 
But just because people go through it a lot, that doesn't mean they should have to. Right. They shouldn't go through it, right? That's nope. just my opinion. Nobody did my decision. I was about to ask you what you were saying. Oh, okay. I'm used to dealing with aggressive women. So, you know, a lot more times. Speak about that. Speak no, up. bitch. I don't talk about <laughs> fucking. Let's not get excited. But I'm used to dealing with more aggressive women, right? Prefer most of the time, it's just because they don't know how to channel their energy, you know, in a positive manner, in a response to them feeling disrespected or something, right? Or not understanding why they feel a certain way. So the first thing most women do is what? Hit. Mm-hmm. Right? But this woman, man. I, I, I was always keeping my hands to my Right. Head. And I teach that to my son. Don't put your hands on no female. And I say, like, the, the little girl that my son is getting with now, mm-hmm. she have a head of putting her hands. I said, let me tell you something. He's not going to hit you. I'm not going to let you hit him too many fucking times while I'm sending your ass home. And see, that's who told me when I was little. My mom, my mom always told her, don't you put your hands on the woman. But, you can whoop a bitch ass. I told you, that ain't a big difference. <laughs> Just because females aren't naturally stronger than men, a female can still kill your ass. You know? So, yeah, I was saying, but fight, just fight back. Because, bitch, I know you can't beat me, so now I'm about to fuck you up since you're trying me. And then we just gonna get it on with your mama and your daddy and whoever the fuck else got problems because you shouldn't have touched me. Okay, I got another question. Did you feel bad after? Yeah, because it should never come to this. But you touched me, my reaction is, I'm gonna touch you. Like see? he said. Like but he see, said. that was the younger me. That's what I was saying then. I just realized that. 37. Yeah, no, I realized that a couple <laughs> years ago. I realized that a while ago. But that was the younger me. Naturally, now, I'll just leave. I don't give a fuck. But that'd be the worst thing to do sometimes. Sometimes, right. For who? Because sometimes motherfuckers like, come to get me, you. Yeah. For me, like, like if I leave sometimes. And you come it, back. It, it come, oh. I, I don't even get a chance to leave. Before I'm out the door, it's, it's bullshit on my back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's the other point. So that's how you say like how you respond uh, to shit, right? Like, uh, run fast, nigga, run. Yeah, don't walk. you run fast. <laughs> but some people wait. Put a light in that motherfucker. You got the sprint. Yeah. And see, the thing is, let me show you all another. This is underscore TLs on Instagram. Follow me for more life advice. So and when you yeah. walk away, the technique is don't talk shit while you in the yeah, room with her. You got you to gotta walk and, be, and, and then say it loud enough so she can hear you mumbling. But now I really know what you're saying. Stupid bitch! Or, or you but you going down the stairs no. and you running no. and you're no. 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 Or you do. Right. You oh. do. No, no, right. I'm going to talk shit to her because she no. throwing shit. I don't know about y'all, nigga. Joke. My baby mama throw shit. Nigga. Right. 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 Powder. Right. 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 But last time we talked, well, right? The best, the best way to compete is to not compete. Exactly. What I told you that. Got you. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna look at you. Like so, so, when when dealing when dealing with women, if you try to combat them, no matter okay. what you say, it's gonna make you less of a man. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Even if you got the emotional man. intelligence, if you fuss with them, if you argue with them, at the end of the day. The acronyms come up with strategy. This shit just, just don't do what's, it. What, hold on, can, can we, can we, it's can, hard though. It's hard. I, I, I haven't mastered it. I haven't mastered it at all. I like to talk shit, but what? I don't. Can we go I over the acronyms? acronyms? Can we go over the acronyms? You're, 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 you're a bitch ass nigga, a band. You're a hoe ass nigga. You're a puss ass nigga. You're a puss in the can ass nigga. You a bitch at, oh, I said bitch at, nigga. Bitch me. Bitch me. Bitch me. Your mama a hoe. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, you gay. You gay. I got you know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't been giving me that dick, so I don't Damn. know where you been putting yeah, that. Yeah, it's been assassin. Women attack you <laughs> so <laughs> many <laughs> ways. And all I got to say is, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, hoe. You know what I mean? Who a hoe? Who you a hoe? Who a bitch? That's the only thing that, who a bitch? Who a bitch? That's the only thing I got. I can't. You know what's so funny, though? Like, <laughs> like, like they'll say that you're gay, but be, but, but have gay friends and be cool with their big friends. Yeah, it's, 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 it's more like, stress. That's what it's like. It's, it's like, like it don't make sense. That make a nigga snap. Like, you're not that stupid, bro. Like, it just weighs the poke at your masculinity. Yeah, why? 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 Why?
you want to say all that when it says dickhead you hollering and screaming? I don't know they sex like I just know that that's what she was listen, screaming that nigga was getting this shit. I was picking him up. I, I, I don't talk about none of that. What I you was doing was what you was doing. Bitch, yeah. when I say what I say, I mean what I mean. I can make all the noise I fucking want. You can still have a small dick. Facts, facts. What's that about that dick? So you cut that man like that? Oh, I'm gonna cut it to the facts. fucking floor. Oh, oh, just I would. <laughs> 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 no, bitch, I'm going to cut it to the floor. You tell me I got a little dick. You like this little bitch? I'm not sure what that is. Those people got into a domestic. That's because I don't want to put a body count on me. Let me say, those people got into a domestic. That's fucked up. Those people got into a domestic dispute. You know what I'm saying? Then they end up fucking the same night. So you tell this man, you've been fussing with this man, told me, come pick this man up. Now he little dick, he ain't got shit like that. You pay all the bills, just this and that. He a bitch ass nigga. All the shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But the same night, he back over there. Because you don't want to bring your body count up. You ain't got back over here, bitch. I got it. I ain't gonna lie. Let me tell you, I don't want to be insensitive, but then you don't have a kid after And I got told, so I don't need you. Then you don't have a kid after you was born? Who? Me and who? The abuser? No, we had already had two kids. Oh, oh, before you went crazy. Yeah. So the kids drove me crazy. Yeah, Wait, no, no, no. She said it was got a 15 year old. The last five man. was a problem. And, I, and that, that's what I wanted to ask. Do the kids you, you feel crazy. like what kids are doing? Because my kids are not going to go. So that's what he's saying. Oh, yeah. Let them get this up. That's the way you feel like shit went. Look. Because I decided that I wasn't going to do what he wanted me to do no more. He couldn't control me no more. So when when he seen that he couldn't control me no more. And See, I was determined to do what I wanted to do. I mean, this don't happen overnight, so that don't happen. No, it took months. It was months later, but at the end of the day, I, the last show was when you bust my ass. But I want. I'm, not about, to, I I'm guess, not about to. do that. I guess. I guess I want to ask what made you say because you had to be liking the controlling factor at a point in time. No, I used to like playing cards, and his mama and sister and used to play cards a lot, so that exactly. was my thing. Yeah. Oh, man. So that, up, was, that was my thing. Like, like, and I used to like going out. And my, like, they they used to always go out. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to the ball. I'm going to sit in the ball. We're going to play cards, whatever. So he seen that. So, okay, you know, you know I'm with your mama. Because you could just pop up. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you know where I'm at. But you can't just pop up by so my mama. made you stop going? I just got tired of hanging with him. I didn't. Because I really, truly, that don't sound like that was something you wanted to do. You just did it because that's what no, I wanted to do it, and okay. then I just got tired of doing it. Like, I want to be around my own family now. Right. Like, okay. I'm tired of hanging around. Right. I don't, I don't, I want to be around my family, right. and only my family. Nigga told me, love your faith and keep. Nah. And settle in. Nah. Nah, I'm not going like to say, I don't, I'm not gonna say I don't fuck with his family, because I love his mom and sister to death. But at some point, I decided that I'm tired of hanging with your family every weekend. Because because now I'm like, okay, well, this bitch really trying to get in my fucking head again. Like, bitch, I got this nigga out of my fucking head. So let me go back to, I'm going yeah. back to by my mom and him. Let me, you know, and that's just I'm that. I'm not trying to ask a million questions, but there was an event I feel like that made you say I'm not fucking with his family. Nah, it wasn't. Because I still go to shit that his family give now. Because I got tired of going, I didn't want to go no more. I, I, I was always with his family. So what she's saying his family. Is, his family. I'm not. What she's saying no. is she spent so much time with his family. Right. Spent no time with her. It ain't that she wasn't fucking so, with them no more. Right. You know, yeah. she just wanted to do her own thing sometimes. Yeah. No, I'm really getting at the niggas now. Because you can't let the girl. No. And the whole time, they was probably. He ain't allow you to do both. Like, nah, because he knew he couldn't. He knew he knew the type of family I have, so he knew if he around my family or if I'm around my family, you can't do all that bullshit. Like, you, you, you can't not, manipulate. The yeah, situation. you can't at all. Like, you can't do that. Don't say that word. Manipulate. <laughs> you can't do that at all. <laughs> and the whole time we going on, he probably was with another female in your car. Was. So what? Hold on. So hold on. Let me let me, let me spread it around. Cause like we heard of Tracy, we heard of Derek's a little bit. Has anybody else, and we heard the flames a little bit too, has anybody else known that been in a, a domestic abuse, a dispute, oh, and it, whether they ball with the side of the angle state for uh, help? help? What it is again? I had been in a couple. Talk to, talk to us. I, I had one, I had me. one where I took it to the extreme. Like, uh, so, I was, um, I was standing in Destra, and, uh, I was 
person I was dealing with at the time, she wasn't all the way down, but she had mental health issues, right? So I came home, I was like, I'm gonna eat. Like, nah, leave me alone. Cool. Back off to me, and you shoot me. And you just leave me alone, no, I don't need nothing. And I cooked, right? Made my plate, made her plate, put her plate in the oven, put mine in the microwave, I walked to the, I walked to the bathroom. As I'm walking to the bathroom, she's coming out the room, right? All she seen was one plate. So when I came out the bathroom, she, she no! came out the Time for you, pause for a second. Huh? Remember that strategy? Solution plus what she meant. Emotion? She no. met, he had a solution. She met him with emotion. Yeah. That's when you should shine. I know you. I know the situation. Well, he, you see, still made it. I, I, I lost. I just understand. Yeah, see, that's how. Yeah, I still got that's how that's how mine. Used to be. I blacked out. Stand. I mean, I ain't blacked yeah, out. Well, I kind of like I don't remember exactly what I, I don't Small remember enough. exactly like what happened. I just remember like when I came to. Right. She you was against. Mean? She was against the wall by the refrigerator, and I was like this. Chosen. And then yeah, like, yeah, all yeah. our body we just dropped. Yeah. So I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do at the time until I heard her moving around. I was like, "Oh, yeah." yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand because I can't choke slam a motherfucker before. Yeah. That was uptown. I'm coming, I didn't even expect that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't have no indication that that was going to happen. I didn't even, you know, read the room because you good, because your shit down, my shit in the microwave, we, like, ain't no reason for this to escalate that fast. So, yeah, to me, to me, but. Because you think about it. Yeah, I'm thinking logically. So, I, I didn't, I didn't even think that it was that type of environment. I just thought that, I heard, you know, she, she don't want to have trips. I'm gonna make sure she's straight anyways, even though she said if she changed her mind, she can go up in here and pull this out and she'll be straight. I ain't even get a chance to tell her it was in the oven. She just assumed that it was nothing. Now, wow. after that, I ain't both of them. She couldn't. Now, but you really ah, You fucked up, nigga. So look, let's transition. Because we've been on the top. Damn, but that's one of my Before favorite we do that, before we do that, <laughs> we'll get it to us. Before we do that, we gotta hop inside our next sponsor. Yeah, there you go. We got it. We got it. We got Treese's Exotic Snacks and More. Treese! Yeah. Exotic my exotic snacks. I sell edibles, infused drinks, infused food, you name it. Yeah, I like it, Ask him, yeah. Huh? You, got that, you got that little thing that make the mouth water? <laughs> hey, you talking about dick? No. Dick make the mouth water. No. Nah, it's like, it's Did you have in your mouth water? I'm talking about him. We ain't about to flip this back. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> 11. <laughs> yeah. Y'all go check out that Treese's Treese. Exotic Snacks and more on Instagram. Make sure you tell them Rudy's attention. Rudy! Well, yeah, all right. So, Flay, what we got next? Man, what's up? Oh, all right. So, look, cool. Let's do it like this, all right? So, everybody knows about the 90 day rule, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know shit about that. Okay, the 90 day rule for most things is set by women, right? You date 90 days before you have sex. I thought it was work for the benefits. Go ahead. They work like that for benefits. They work too. So, but it was it was more popular back in like the 90s, late 80s, and shit like that. Actually. But, you know, that was the thing, right? So I'm proposing this this uh, suggestion to me, right? If we had a 90 day rule, we don't pay for shit. We ain't buying shit and we ain't doing shit for the first nine of days. Ties and offers. Pick yours up at me. Hey, boy, I just don't talk about this. Before, yeah. you know, That's y'all, y'all, y'all decide if you actually go to. Oh, so like on dates where I pay for mine, you pay for yours? Yeah. Like, yeah, do it. Not this. I don't see you no know, Pull your pussy for 90 days. days. Don't trip. You know, we, 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 we for 90 days before we decide to. Never. Niggas still should be. I ain't got no problem with that. Still That's what you want to do. Let's do it. Still pay, though. Still pay. If that was to come out, niggas to do that shit, I'm crossing. Ain't because you got not paid. You ain't doing shit. I'm crossing. Yeah. I'
<laughs> no, I'm saying if the 90 you day rule you could be was, was, for was you could be infatuated for years, right? But I was saying, based off the 90 day rule, no pussy for 90 days to see if a woman run like a bag. If men if applied that 90 hey, day rule, who the fuck really does it?